If you're building a manufacturing company and you spend any time on social media, it's really easy to get this idea in your head that to grow your business, you need to buy the latest and greatest, most tricked out name brand piece of machinery that you can get your hands on. In reality, that's just not true because we're building businesses, not social media followings. We're entrepreneurs, not influencers. We need every dollar that we spend to go as far as it can possibly go because every dollar that you make represents three to four dollars in sales, depending on what your net profitability is. The reason I'm telling you this is because I just bought a two blazer from a company that you have never heard of in a company that's in China. Most name brand two blazers are between 1.5 and $2 million, depending on how big of a two blazer you buy, what kind of capacity it has, and who the manufacturer is. Given the capacity that this machine has, if we had bought from a name brand company, we would have paid between 1.7 and 2 million for that, that same capacity. So, we saved roughly a million dollars. But it's a Chinese machine and objectively the Chinese are notorious for dumping bad product and not servicing it or backing it up or following through with the warranty. Buying a machine from China is always a leap of faith to some extent and this machine was no different. Yes, because I want to check the Water liquid, I don't want the liquid. It's April 1st. It's been 12 weeks since the HSG team showed up here to complete what was promised to initially be a six week install process. Our first major setback happened when the install tech who was putting together the laser for the first time realized he was missing some crucial power cable. Rather than source it from his team back in China or from a distributor in the United States, he found an old extension cord that we had thrown away and he cannibalized it and used the bits to power up our brand new $700,000 tube laser. And when he turned the machine on, the short that was inside the cable, the reason that we threw the cable away, the short caught fire inside this control panel and it burned up. Um, burned up a handful of wiring and one of the main servo drives. The real problem with this machine is that it's not a true five axis machine. We paid for a five axis machine and all five axes are there, but the control system can't seem to move them in a synchronous manner. Yes, the machine manufacturing wasn't actually ready. So everybody was rushing because uh, the sales person says, uh, customers waiting. That's also another issue that customer can be more careful with. Uh, do not rush the manufacturing time. I asked my company, um, is there any way we can change the system to the one we're using right now? Because we have a different software provider right now and they gave us fantastic support. Just fantastic support. And they said, Yes, it's doable, but it's a lot of work, and they're not sure if, it's, if the machine is actually going to work after changing the system. I said, why don't you try it on the machine in our Chinese showroom first? So they did that. Yep, they did that. They did that first before changing this machine. So 
they did a trial, uh, changed the software, the whole system um, for a machine in our showroom, in our Chinese headquarters showroom, um, and eventually made everything work. So I was, okay, that's great news, get this one changed. And they were like, are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm serious, get this, get the machine, all the system changed. If I bought a machine at this price, and your guy come to me and tell, tell, tells me the system of the machine need to be changed. I will be like, what, what, what the fuck? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, say every everybody in the team agreed, and and our engineers start working on it, and eventually solved all the problems. In China, we are the best tube laser manufacturer. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, yeah, for tube laser, yes, we are confident on that. Okay, so I have designed this um, six by six by half inch wall piece to get cut on the tube laser. If this thing can cut this part, there will be no end to the possibilities of what that machine can do in our shop. Yeah, it's a, that is a very complex part. That looks a lot like something that a customer would actually need and use. If we were gonna make this part in house, how would we do it without a tube laser? How long do you think it would take? And I go through the machine shop, so it's probably going to be all said and done. It'd be four hours or more. So this without material would probably cost somewhere around like five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. But on the tube laser, how long do you think it would take to produce this? Um, I haven't seen the tube laser run too much, but I'd probably say maximum of 10 minutes just because of the wall thickness. It's going to take a little longer, but. That, that is a massive tube. I'm really putting this thing to the test. We're really putting it through its paces. We are not cutting these guys any slack. We wanna see what this machine can do. We wanna take this machine to its limit before we let these techs out the door. I'm so excited that the Chinese pulled through. I'll be honest, this turned out way better than I thought it would. Got some tapped holes here around this uh, circle. That cut quality for a tube laser, that's fantastic. I would have that if it were a BLM or a Mazak. Uh, overall, I'm really pleased with this part. I'm really pleased with how things are going with this laser. I just want to close this video with a few thoughts. Um, if you're thinking of buying a Chinese machine, you need to perform your due diligence. If you can, talk to other customers who've been running machines and ask them what their experience with customer support has been like. In our quest to find the right machine, I traveled to North Dakota and I visited a shop that was running not one, but two HSG lasers. And while I was there, I noticed that one of the lasers was under repair. So I was able to get this really fresh perspective on how that company handles technical support or customer service. And the shop manager at that shop was really pleased with his experience with them so far. He was really happy with how quickly they were getting the machine back up and running again. Lastly, if you're thinking of purchasing a machine from China or you've purchased a machine and it's on its way, here are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Number one, the language barrier is profound. Most of the techs who work to install our machine couldn't speak English and could only be communicated with through the Google Translate app, which is incredible, by the way. Number two, uh, the time zone difference between China and the U.S. is 12 hours, and if your U.S.-based service team needs to collaborate with a mothership, you might find yourself giving their techs some serious, serious after-hours access to your shop. 
For us, there were weeks where our HSG engineering team would come in at 7 p.m. and leave the next morning at 7 a.m. So be prepared for this. And lastly, do not rush them. The quality of your machine, the machine that you end up with on your floor for years that you use to build your business and produce parts, the quality of that machine is inversely proportional to how much you rush their build team. Be patient, do not rush them. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.